How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Professor Layton and the Curious Village. We have to find the cat. Claudia. Well, that was the cat, right? It just said find Claudia. That's that's not the, the woman. Yeah, that's Dahlia. Claudia's the cat. Franco, however, is in need of assistance. Some knucklehead went and raised the bridge while I was on break. Then as if that wasn't bad enough, that chowderhead made off with my only bridge crank. Oh dear, so you mean to say... Huh. You got it, buddy. Until that thing shows up, no one's getting in or out of town. I'm still looking for the blasted crank, but I'm seeing too much red to get anything done. Well, if you take your red hat away from your eyes, maybe you'd fix that problem. What kind of punk pulls a prank like this anyhow? Was that the intended joke? That the red hat? Probably. I found this doodad in the street when I was out looking for my crank. Uh... Let's just not look... <laughs> anyway, got any idea what it is? <laughs> Crank can mean something entirely different. <laughs> I got a strange gizmo. Like gizmos, like from Gremlins? I want one, I want a gizmo! Not just any mogwai, I specifically want gizmo, he's adorable. Gizmo is possibly the cutest thing in all of existence. Anyway. Uh, oh, well, hi. I found her. Let's see if I get her this time! Ah, Fluffy, check. Purple bow, check. Salon expression, check. No doubt about it, that's Claudia. Good eye, Luke. Now that we've located her, the question at hand is how to go about catching her. Leave this one to me, Professor. Ah, yes, I'd forgotten that you have a way with animals. Well, go right ahead, then. And he just gets scratched across his face. Here, girl. Yep, there you go. Luke is dead. And there she goes. Leighton just stood there. Are you alright? I'm sorry I wasn't much help, Professor. She's far feistier than I imagined. Well, that went really... Whoa. What's, uh, what's up with you? You weren't here before. Deke? Okay, are you sure you're not related to the, the Mont Blanc family? <laughs> Yawn. That, uh... Ch oh, God, his eyes. That chestnut head. Yeah, I saw that, cow. She almost scratched out your eye. Help catch her, you say? Thanks, but no thanks. I like a living. Did you see that ferocious beast? I'm not going anywhere near her. Could you at least tell us in which direction she ran off? <laughs> the more we see of this guy, the dumber he looks. I saw that killer scurry off westward. She had fangs the size of daggers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on with what is in my life. I almost forgot. We ought to visit the local inn and see if we can procure some rooms for the night. Well, all right. Sounds good to me, Professor. I was certain I saw an inn near the entrance to the village, just south of the plaza we're in. Oh yeah, it was there. Let's head over right now and see if we can set up some lodging. Hey, let me go into the general store before. What if I click on other doors? Can I go in them? Oh, this is this is the town hall. I expected it to be a larger building, but... Okay. What's up with you? The nose is man. This is the town hall. What business do you have here? There's no way I'm going to remember these voices. If you just moved to town, I strongly advise that you fill out a change of address form. Oh no, we aren't here for anything like that. Regardless, all town hall visitors must complete the proper forms. You can start with this one. It happens to be a puzzle. All right. Triangles and ink. My two favorite things. Here are two shapes, one large and one small. Each is made up of little triangles. Dipping your fountain pen into the ink one time gives you just enough ink to draw four little triangles, as depicted by the shape on the left. Okay. So, with that in mind, how many times do you have to dip your pen in the ink in order to draw the shape on the right that's made up of 36 triangles? All right. Well, 36 divided by 4 is 9, but I kind of feel like it's a little more complicated than that. If I actually... Oh god, oh, can I like, can I draw on it? Oh, I can. Good. Because uh, I was going to say, if I just have to like think about it in my mind, it's going to be really obnoxious. But I, uh, I can just draw. So like, there's one, you got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But that cannot be. That is far too simple. That is far too easy. It's a 40 picker at question. 
Although the only one I've gotten wrong so far was 10, so <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. It seems like the answer would be 9, but it can't, it can't be. I refuse to say 9, but I don't know what else it is, so I'm gonna get a hint. To draw the smaller four triangle shape, you actually only need to draw three triangles. Well, yeah, that's accurate, but let me, hold on, before I explain myself, let me read the rest of this. Trace the shape on the touch screen. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Notice how the middle triangle, triangle three, and the shape is actually made up of the sides of the other triangles. Yeah, I mean, that's obvious. I got that. But because it specifically says one dip and then shows that whole thing, that one, two, three, four, I still assume that, you know, one dip was able to draw that shape. It does say one dip gives you enough to draw four little triangles, and it is true that drawing those, that's only drawing three. But still, when you actually put it in the diagram like that, that made me think that that exact shape right there that you specifically drew and labeled one dip was what you would get from one dip. So you can't really blame me for that one. Okay, so that plus one more Let's just do that one up there then. Would actually be one dip. And then two, three, four, five, uh, that one maybe. Six, seven. Is it seven? I think it's seven. Okay. So, uh, the added little diagram there threw me off at first, it. but I think it's seven. Boom. Every puzzle has an answer. That's correct. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. You would think divided by four, but no. Nicely done. As you might have noticed, everyone in this town is simply crazy about puzzles. I strongly advise that you solve as many puzzles as you can. Oh, and while I'm at it, I strongly advise that you drop in on Granny Riddleton next door. Wow. She must be like the overlord. She is a veritable treasure trove of puzzle-related informalia. Just beware that she's not always home. A strange gizmo. It's a ball. It's not very strange. Anyway, do you have any hint coins, sir, that I may procure? By clicking all random manner of doodads and hoo-hahs. You gotta have some. No! I will get something from this man. I, give me one hint coin. He's got nothing. He actually has absolute... Oh, never mind. He did have one. Take that, you bastard. Oh, and we got another puzzle. There's a hidden puzzle here. I still don't understand what that means, but all right. I guess they literally have puzzles hidden. 118. Oh my god, 50 picker rats. A jokerless deck of 52 cards sits on the table. The cards are shuffled thoroughly and divided into two stacks of 26 cards labeled A and B. If you divide the cards as described above and check the contents of each pile a thousand times, how many times could you expect the number of red cards in one pile to match the number of black cards in the other? Fucking... I don't know! Hold on, let me go through that again. Shuffled through, divided into two stacks, just randomly, 26 cards each. You check it a thousand times! Number of red cards in... Does it... Is this like, I feel like this is a weird trick question, like, does it somehow work every single time? That can't be. Oh, hold up! Hold up, actually! You know what? That's ex I think that's ex exactly what it is, because... Reading that last line again, number of red cards in one pile to match the number of black cards in the other. So if the left pile has 20 red cards, it would have 32 black cards. Which means the other pile would be the exact opposite. So the remaining 20 black cards would be in that one, and the remaining 32 red cards would be in that one. So yeah, the red in one pile would match the black in the other, and vice versa. That would happen every time. So it actually is a thousand. Hell yeah. 
And again, that's like the only answer that it's like the triangle puzzle from before where it's like, well, you'd have to like do math. And I don't think this game would expect you to know those things. So it's just the the obvious answer, which was 10. And it's the same kind of thing here. That's why I first thought it might just be a thousand because I don't really know what else they would expect you to come up with. And it sure is a thousand. That was a real mind twister. Cool. Well, I think I've taken everything I can from this place. Let's head out. You gotta go to the inn. And then by going to the inn, I should probably go in the correct direction, which is this way. Stashin. Is he laughing about something? Gehehe. <laughs> so how will go things? Learning the inns and outs of Saint Mysterio, are you? Yep, solving puzzles is the only way to get by here. That's what the villagers value most. How about a puzzle right now? A little practice will keep you from embarrassing yourselves in front of others later. Well, I thank you very much. As a diehard and nonconformist myself, I'm a sucker for any puzzle where you need to find the odd man out. I don't know, I feel like if you refer to yourself as a nonconformist, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know about that. Five card shuffle. Okay, more cards. Why not? Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? All right, that should be pretty simple. Just look at them one at a time and should be easy enough. Let's compare A and B. I'm looking at them right now and they look rotated from each other. Uh, let's compare uh, A and D since that would be a quick left turn rotation if it was correct. That looks correct as well. So is C the odd one out? I'll have to look at that too. Let me compare uh, B to C. That's, that would be another quick... Actually, they all look shit. <laughs> Unless I'm just wrong, they all look accurate. I must have overlooked something. B and C seem to definitely be correct, or like line up with each other, from what I can tell. I've been staring at this thing for a while. And they are all the same. They are all the same layout. So there's something else. There's something else to it. And I was looking at, like, the space between the cards, but I don't think it'd be something like that. It might be how they're stacked, because they are all the same. I, I ran it over in my head many times. They are all the same layout, no matter how you turn them. So I think it's how they're stacked. The red, the red cards are always on top of the center card, so that's the same in all of them. All of them have one club over the spade and one club under it. But maybe if you turn them, it wouldn't always be the same. Let me see. Like, if you turn A to the right one time, it would match up with B, and that would still be the same. If you turn B to the right one time, that would match up with C, and it would still be the same. If you turn C to the right one time, the card, the club that is under the spade would match up with the card that's over the spade. So that means D is the wrong one. Right? I think I've got it. Hey, boy. Thank you. That was actually a little, uh, little complicated. I had to stare at that one for a while. I was just looking at them and going over because I, I just thought I had to be wrong. I'm looking at them wrong. They all seem like they are the same to me, but it was something else. You certainly showed that puzzle who is boss at it, didn't you? It seems the training I've been giving you has paid off. Feel free to thank me in any way you see a fit. Well, I'll be seeing you around. Well, thank you. Oh, a painting scrap. How precious. Well, let's head into the inn. In the inn. Hi. Again with the nose and the chins and the hair and just... Ugh, my god. Oh, my... Oh, hello there! Welcome to the inn at St. Mysterio. We're the only inn in town, you know. You see, visitors to our little village are quite rare. Oh, good day, madam. We seek lodging for the night. Do you have any open rooms we could rent? I bet she does, in the form of a puzzle. Oh, my stars, what terrible timing! We're currently remodeling all of our guest rooms. The only rooms left are in the attic, but if you don't mind that, I'll make sure you're very comfortable. <laughs> I do hope you'll stay with us. It's been a while since a fine gentleman such as yourself stayed with us. <laughs> The rooms are not very big, but I'll make sure they sparkle. Can you come back in a bit? 
I'll do my best to get two normal rooms ready for you as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, thank you, but you needn't trouble yourself on my behalf. As long as I have a bed to sleep in, I'm satisfied. Ah, uh, yes, about that. Oh, what terrible luck. You see, all the beds are out being refinished. But don't worry, Mama Beatrice is going to take care of you too. I'll even drop the nightly rate. Oh God. It's the inn is a puzzle in which you arrange items in Luke's and the professor's rooms. Okay, I'll have to look into that. That's. But that's a puzzle. It's not just like a random mini game where you re. I don't remember this from last time I played this. I don't remember this at all. It's actually a puzzle. But, like, is it really? <laughs> Does it actually matter where I put the stuff? I think all it is is, like, I have to pick... I think I remember a little bit where, like, you just have to decide which room it goes to, Luke or Layton, and then where you put it in the room doesn't actually matter, I think. Here's something to make the place feel a bit more like home. Uh... I, I, I guess Layton can have that. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes later. So, uh, let's look for... Okay. It's going to say hand coins, but we'll get a puzzle. Look, a hidden puzzle. Let's do it. All the hidden ones, yeah, I was going to say, they're all up in the hundreds. My beloved. Oh, my God. Oh, this is like a classic optical illusion thing, isn't it? A work from a famous artist was recently discovered. The painting is a self-portrait of the painter in his later years and is entitled My Beloved. Maybe not like an optical illusion, but you know what I mean. Also, it's a painting of himself, and it's called My Beloved. Probably because there's actually a woman in, like, the out the outer parts or whatever. Assuming the artist... Yeah, exactly. It wasn't a huge narcissist and referring to himself. His beloved should appear in the painting somewhere. It's either, like, him upside down or it's the black parts. Oh, and I get to rearrange it, too. Okay, so I'll just bring the black parts together. Alright, I can do that then. So... Yeah, that actually looks like a... Uh, sort of? I mean, I don't know what she looks... It actually kind of looks like it might be a cat or something. It looks like... How do I... Oh. Okay, that's how I rotate. Interesting. Uh, hold on. Okay, those, that's her head. There you go. Flip those two. There, uh, no, actually? Um, then is that one the one that goes up there? No, it's not that one either. Which one did I just have up there? There there we go. That's definitely right. She got some nice boobs anyway. Well, here's my guess. There you go. Professor, I've solved it. That wasn't that bad. Easy peasy, now let's go find some more puzzles. Alright, what else do you have in here? You have any hint coins for me? I will find them. Aren't one in the plant? Any in your drawers? In the lamp? Just gotta click everywhere till I find everything. Okay. Is there something else to talk to her about? I'm not gonna do that stupid voice for her anymore. Just hello there, gentlemen. I've got a doozy of a puzzle. Oh, okay. She's got a puzzle after clicking on her again. <laughs> 